this is my iMac G3. Uh, I just brought it back to life using uh, a hard drive out of my old uh, Power Mac G3, as well as some new RAM because the RAM it had in it was dead. Uh, Apple were notorious for using RAM back when this computer was new uh, that tend to go bad after a while. Uh, so did the hard drives as well. Uh, so yeah, while this thing starts up, let's talk about the specs. Uh, it's got a 600 megahertz G3. Um, 12 gig hard drive, and you know, out of the Power Mac G3. It's not the fastest thing, but it works. Uh, it's got a gigabyte of RAM and ATI Rage 128 graphics with uh, 16 megabytes. So it's pretty much the highest end version of this computer you can get, uh, other than the 700, but I've never seen one of those uh, for sale, you know. In System Profiler, we can uh, see some more of the specs. With the 600 megahertz G3 and uh, gig of RAM, um, Mac OS 9 runs really smoothly on here without a hiccup. Of course, as you can imagine, pretty much anything that will run on the classic OS, like uh, OS 9, will pretty much run on this machine flawlessly. Um, so every piece of software that you can get for OS 9, like Word 2001, uh, PowerPoint, um, iMovie, Photoshop 7, that sort of thing, it'll all work just fine on here. Here we got PowerPoint 2001. Here's Photoshop 7. And now lastly we've got iMovie of course. Thanks to the Rage 128 Ultra, videos actually uh, export relatively quickly uh, at relatively high resolutions considering the age of the machine. This is actually quite impressive to me. I don't know why, it just is. Now of course with an old computer like this, um, it really wouldn't be complete unless I checked out some of the games on it. Uh, so here's a couple of my favourites. Overall, I think the iMac made the perfect family computer of the early 2000s, uh, just because it has, you know, those really nice speakers on the front that produce such a nice sound, uh, and it has that really nice, for the time at least, 15-inch uh, CRT display. Along with that optical drive, uh, you can just slot in your media, you know, CDs, DVDs, and just play it right there on the computer without having to faff around with any drives or external, you know, 
internal whatever sort of drives you need. So yeah, I think it makes it really good for that sort of use. Uh, but for education, however, um, it's really useful too because it's got those uh, two headphone ports uh, and there's one on the side there as well. And if you turn it around to the back, uh, you'll find a VGA port. Uh, so just using a screwdriver, you can unpop that and just screw in a, a VGA cable and then you can run it off of an external monitor uh, as well or a projector would make more sense in a classroom. Uh, so that's really useful for that kind of thing as well. So yeah, that's been my little look at the uh, 600MHz iMac G3. Uh, thanks for watching.